And boy, am I sick of it. Boy, am I sick of it. And this is where the rant begins. <laughs> oh, I am tired. Nobody wants to tell the truth around here, it seems like. Um, and that's all I've wanted to do. Um, I think I thought about this a lot and what I would want to say about what has happened for the, the last couple of weeks, the things that I was told, horrible, horrible things um, that no one should ever be told. No human being should ever have to be receiving these words. I'm talking about anybody saying words like um, telling you that you should take your own life, telling you that you deserved the abuse that you experienced, you deserved worse, you deserve um, to be assaulted. You, I, these are all the things that I have heard. And I have seen people saying to each other and everyone saying these things, just so disgraceful, everyone. And some people using the opportunity of someone potentially having taken their own life immediately, immediately as justification to say exactly that to somebody else. So disgraceful. What a disrespect to anyone who has ever felt that way. Um, and I feel so strongly about that because I have felt that way. Um, and to have people telling you that you deserve to be dead, oh, everyone's saying it because this isn't about communities. It isn't about sides. It never was. I keep checking these accounts, uh, that are just troll accounts on Twitter typing KYS and hitting tweet because they don't give a shit and they don't follow me. They don't, they're saying themselves, they don't support me. They don't even know who I am. Um, and people are saying it to me, uh, but all of those people saying it to me, all of them, all of them have the same person as their profile picture. That's funny, isn't that? But no one should say those things to each other. No one, it's unacceptable. You either think that it's acceptable to say those things or you don't. Uh, I don't think that there's ever a time where it's okay. And to use that as an opportunity to tell someone else, knowing full well the consequences of saying these things to other people. Um, and then for it to turn out to have been a lie anyway, um, because the truth doesn't matter to these people either. Um, and you have to be very careful who you listen to because they're, they don't care about what's true. And I'm just going to keep coming here and being who I am. And I think anyone who has spent any time in my community between one year, two, three, four, five, six, ten plus in my community know that that isn't something that is ever allowed. I have always had zero tolerance for things like that. Um, and there are people here who have been here for one, two, five, ten years. They know who I am much better. Um, and even still, I am hesitant to say that you know me. Um, but at the very least, you know the kind of community I've built. You know the kind of platform I've had. You know exactly the kind of issues that I have always, always stood up for. Oh, thank you, Sophie. <laughs> um, my mods. I... Ooh, I have another rant I'm going to get into. Oh, boy. And I love my mods. That wasn't about them. That's just... Some of them are young people. They are young adults. And I think that I have seen so many people be so... irresponsible with the young adults around them who trust them. Um... And these adults, grown fucking people, thinking that when someone becomes 18, it's suddenly okay and it's different. And they're, you can do anything. No more boundaries. You can make any jokes you want. You can hurt them any way you want. You can treat them any way you want. Because they're 18 and they're responsible for their own decisions. Give me a break. An 18-year-old has never been responsible. We all know that. They were 17 yesterday. It isn't different now. And if you're lying for your morals is that they have turned 18. You have no morals. You just are doing whatever the law says you're allowed to get away with. Um, and I just think I've seen so many people be so irresponsible. Not in even always a sort of relationship kind of way, but any type of influence and trust that you have over someone so much younger than you, but still an adult, technically, there's so much responsibility you have to take such great care with those people. You cannot be irresponsible with them when they trust you. And you are the older, responsible adult. And when you have so many teenagers in your audience, and those are the people that prop you up, 
but you're willing to show that you don't I don't know I don't know I didn't feel fully responsible till I was past 21 21 is when I even really really fully I remember the moment it hitting me in my head that I understood that a lot more people lie than I had realized till I 21 I remember when I finally like I was finally with other adults adults and I thought that that was just like a thing that kids did. I thought that that was like just a, just a thing that kids, <laughs> cause they're kids, cause they're stupid. Um, and then the realization that other adults all the time are doing that, they're just lying. I hate people that lie. Um, I'm talking about anyone that has been irresponsible with the trust of young people in their, not their care, but sort of you see them take an 18 year old under their wing. They call themselves their brother and they, they gain their trust and they, but, but then they will abandon them at a moment's notice. They will not be there for them. They will not take care with their well-being. They will not take care. Um, they are cruel to them. They're mean to them. There's so much care and responsibility when you have friendships with people with an age gap, because I don't think it's inappropriate all of the time for there to be an age gap between friendships. There's just a difference in how you treat those people when they're so much younger than you that you do need to have more responsibility and more boundaries. Um, I think a great example of someone who takes absolute great care of the people who are younger and look up to them is Filza. I think he's such a great person as such a role model who m means it uh, and thinks that it's a responsibility to take care of them because they're still so young. They're kids, they're teenagers. <sighs> and I think that if you think it's acceptable as soon as someone turns 18, suddenly it's okay to make all types of sexual jokes and to be physically violent with them or to... I just think it's despicable. Don't mess with teenagers. What are you doing? There is so much responsibility in our hands when we are the older. And I think something that I've been thinking about a lot um, is this lie that I've heard a lot of people tell, but I do believe comes from good intention. I just think that we need to stop saying it is when like, I'm just, if you have a 10 year age difference or something, you have almost a decade between you to say, what do you even have in common? You don't have anything in common. That isn't true. That isn't true. Of course we have things in common. I play Minecraft and you all play Minecraft. And I think that it's kind of a lie to make it seem like there's nothing that you'd have in common when of course we do. And what it might do now is give an opportunity to someone older to say, hey, we have this age gap between us. You're 18, I'm 26, 27, whatever, plus. Um, and... We're not supposed to have anything in common, but we do. And so it's special and it's unique and it's different. Um, of course we have things in common, of course we do. And that's so important when we do have friendships and it's so important I think also to have those friendships so that these younger adults have people that they can go to that are outside of their parents, it isn't the same, um, that they can trust and can go to and know that they're going to someone who will be responsible with them and they will not be careless with them but people take advantage of that. I don't think it's ever okay. I don't think it's ever okay to mess with teenagers. That's what I think is so much worse. I feel this upsets me so much because they're so young, they're so young and you're so fucking old. What are you doing? This isn't necessarily about anyone specific. I just think if the shoe fits in the wise words of Renee Rapp, lace that bitch up and run. It upsets me. And I said this on Lexi's stream and I'll say it again on mine. Um, I think that if you've ever been one of these people, cause we've seen this happen before too, where you have been caught with your massive platform of influence over lots of teenagers and children. Um, and in private, you are being manipulative and abusing people. 
manipulating and abusing teenagers. I just think that if you are one of those people who was caught and you said, I'm sorry, I'm going to go work on myself. I think that it's a lie if you ever come back. I think that if you have been caught clearly irresponsible with this position of power over teenagers, that if you were actually out there and did the work and were sorry, you'd voluntarily never come back if you really were sorry. I just couldn't ever believe it if you put yourself right back into the same shoes that allowed you to do that the first time. And I also just think, you don't, I don't think we should allow a second opportunity when we're dealing with teenagers and children. I just don't think that you should be allowed a second opportunity. Something that I would wish to see from my peers, other content creators, is that I know that there are people that know these things happen. I know that there are people that knew these things happened and they let it happen and they didn't say anything or they excused it for their friend. Um, I think that we all need to decide at some point that we find it unacceptable. You hear about someone or you see someone do something like this, unacceptable. We do not protect those people anymore. We do not. We don't let them back. We don't give them another opportunity to take it. Teenagers! I think that if there's anything that we should be collectively deciding, all of us, because the community you come from doesn't matter, it never mattered, what we all need to be doing is deciding collectively these things are not acceptable. Telling people to kill themselves over the internet is not acceptable. Messing around with teenagers just because they're 18, you think they're the same as a consenting adult who's 30, nearly 30, or plus, because let's not even start with all of the people 30 plus that think 18 is still an acceptable person to have any kind of an intimate anything with. There are boundaries you need to have with those people. They are kids. I, I just think that's so predatory. And if you think that the excuse that they're adults is good enough, we fundamentally disagree. Ugh. There's so much responsibility. You know you don't get... To, this is such a privilege to sit here. I have 1,300 people watching. It is such a privilege and you are never entitled to it never you are never entitled to keep it forever if you are shown that you can't be responsible with it when kids are involved and now children are telling me to kill myself <sighs> uh, there are things that you can do when people are sending you threats online and harassment and you should absolutely take every uh opportunity to show those people what those consequences exactly are um, I have been doxxed over this last couple of weeks and um, among the variety of different harassing text messages I received, I got one that was particularly funny. Uh, someone just out of the blue texting me whore. Um, however, that person had all of their contact information filled out on their phone so that when they sent that text to me, um, it came in with their full name, their full name and a photo of themselves. Um, and so with that information, there is a number of things I can do to follow up with harassment. Um, thank you for that. <laughs> I have to laugh. I have been laughing a lot to cope. Uh, I hope that's okay. I only at myself though, only at my own situation, a little bit at them because that's so stupid. <laughs> um, so I have reported their phone number uh, because with that information coming in with their name, I found their Verizon account and that number um, is possibly going to be suspended. I don't actually really know what happens next. Maybe nothing because who are we to expect Verizon to do anything anyway, though? And it is entirely your prerogative and up to you if you are receiving harassing messages and death threats, especially if you want to take that to your local police department. Um, there are also ways to... If you have that available to you, I think that this is something that you are allowed to do if you are told, sent a death threat or anything of that sort. Um, there are ways to find uh, their local police department to let that police department know about that person. Um, also, you can find their parents' information on the white pages and call them. Because it is a crime to tell people to kill themselves. Um, and I just think you either are the kind of person who thinks it's 
acceptable sometimes or you think it's never acceptable. And I will continue to block everybody sending any sorts of messages about telling people to take their own lives, uh, wishing worse on them, worse than what they have already experienced, me, <laughs> and sending horrible threats. Um, I haven't blocked a single person uh, speaking to me kindly. The biggest lie that they're going to try and tell us that I've blocked for criticism. Uh, you don't get to call it criticism when you end your message with whore or bitch. <laughs> I have only blocked things that were unkind or untrue um, or bad faith. And that is entirely up to my opinion personally. And I don't care even if I got it wrong. It, I just don't, don't think it's that deep to get blocked on Twitter anyway if you're not even in the community. To be honest, I always thought it was kind of funny. Uh, and I saw a post about this on Tumblr that people on Twitter take it so personally when you, they get blocked and think it's such a big thing or think they won something. Uh, and for me, it's nothing. <laughs> I'll block people for any reason. I don't care. It's my experience on Twitter. Twitch sucks most of the time anyway. So yeah, I'll block everybody it takes to have like even a minute of good time and peace. And I might never have that on Twitter, to be honest. And that's why I might not really come back to participating in that platform to be honest I didn't feel like I could keep me or my community safe anymore um they were being called m you <laughs> were being called mutts and dogs and I just also think that you can't take the actions of a few um because even in the messages that I looked up and all these people don't follow me a couple did and I just don't think that it's any ground to stand on to say the actions of a few represent the whole group. That's just simply, fundamentally, again, not something I agree with. So, um, but if that was true, then that all of those stories that I just told of people and what they've been doing to me, that represents them, if that's the case. Um, anyone behaving that way I will not be trying to reason with them. I'm not going to try and take my time to individually speak to all of them and convince them to stop. I'm blocking them. If they follow me, if they don't follow me, I'm blocking them. I don't want them interacting with my posts either way. I don't want them interacting with my community because eff effectively being blocked, banned, they're removed from my community. Um, so I will continue to do that, but I have done everything else that I can. I have done everything I can. And I will continue to say it is unacceptable to behave that way online for anybody, from any community. Because I've been the only one who said that so far. When both, everybody is just throwing around these horrible things on Twitter because they think it's funny and they're trolling. And I just don't think it's funny for anyone to do these things. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's a really dangerous line of thought to say that you can criticize an entire community for the actions of a few. I heard a noise outside. Um, and I want to keep streaming. I want to keep doing what I do to show people what most of us believe and feel and the way that we feel is the right way to behave online and to treat other human beings with respect with kindness. I'd like to show that. I'd like to show all of those people. I think that anyone in any community who's behaving in all the ways that I've described, um, my community, their community, I, you have to find it unacceptable in your own community as well. Um, yeah. <sighs> Every community should have that standard. And as soon as you see people in, in that in your own community behaving that way, everyone should just block and ban them and report them. Anyone sending things like that on Twitter, um, you need to report them because they'll be taken down so quickly. Uh, their account will be suspended. And they should be reported. Uh, anyone saying, <laughs> I just saw something briefly pass by about criticism. Um, any, it's been a blatant lie that I've blocked anyone over criticism. Um, I've already explained what I find to be bad faith. Just the absolute most victim-blaming questions that you could think. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself to them all either. And I won't. 
And I don't want to take any more time addressing only the worst of any part of any community. Um, I think we all need to just move forward, block, report, ban, and we only interact with the people that are reasonable, treat each other with respect simply because we are human beings who deserve respect. And then eventually they'll all go away. If we all decide that it's unacceptable for anyone to behave that way, then they'll all eventually disappear from the internet. If we all block them. Because they really want me to do the most in sacrificing my mental health to protect the people that really just want to support an abuser in peace. And to be honest, I think they should be allowed to block them and let them do it in peace whoever wants, just ignore them. Um, because they're probably going to continue trying to reply and spreading lies. There was this story about my cousin that I could only laugh as I read because I have one singular cousin on this whole fucking earth uh, who is a grown man who has never been here. Um, and no one in my whole entire family met my last partner. No one of my extended family cousin or second or third cousin have met any partner of mine ever. And the only family who have ever been here in the seven years that I've lived here to visit are my mom and sister once. And my mom one other time. Um, so that was stupid. <laughs> and I'm not going to address every time there's a rumor. I'm not going to do that. This has happened before. Um, and you need to be really careful about what information you find to be coming from a reliable source. Um... If you don't feel in any situation like you have enough information from a reliable source, that's how I felt over the last couple of weeks. I was waiting for more information. That is the most responsible thing you could do. And I did not have access to Twitter at the time either. Um, you wait for more reliable information. Maybe before you call someone a lying bitch. Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't, I should have turned ads off. I'll just wait. You can watch all of this later. It's only been 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, there probably are going to be more attempts and I'm not going to address them all. Um, you get to decide for yourself if you find something to be from a reliable person. Um, I feel so grateful to have so many friends. Um, that I really didn't even know if they really, how, how all of these people really felt about me. But I have so many friends who know me and have taken the time to know me and know that I'm telling the truth and support me. And so many of you support me. And I have to be so grateful for that. I don't want to let the few feel louder than the actual majority of people who really just only believe in treating people with kindness and supporting people who have been hurt. Or at the very least, offering the kindness of waiting, perhaps, for more information, if that's what you feel you want to do, if that wasn't enough for you. I just feel like there's a mountain at this point, but that's fine. <sighs> So yeah, I've been thinking a lot about that. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about a lot of these things. Um, I think we need to have better standards for the people around us. If we know people that behave in such ways, why are we allowing that? And that's just in general. I'm talking for the most part so in general. I also don't want to forget. I almost did and I wanted to start with this. I'm so sorry. I... I have had so many people share their stories with me um, of their experiences f from, I'm sorry, <laughs> from through Tumblr asks, through email, um, really, really opening up to me about the experiences that they have had and the way that I have made them feel so strong and brave and not alone. And um, I want those people to be acknowledged. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't want to cry and don't stream. I held it together when talking about Nimona. Please watch that movie. Everyone needs to watch that movie. Oh my god. Um, 
I, I, I'm really going to be <laughs> trying to focus so much on how much good has been done. So much good has been done. Um, so many people can be safer now. Um, I'm so proud of the people who have spoken up since me, um, because there were a lot. I didn't expect that as a response. Um, and I'm so, so proud. I'm so, so, so proud of these people. I'm so proud to have played any role in anybody feeling strong enough to tell their own story um, because it was scary and it is brave and I'm still scared and I'll probably be scared for a while about just, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how things are gonna happen. Um, and I just think that some people need to start telling the truth around here, I guess. And I think that if it's true, you should say it. I think that if it's true, you're allowed to say it. Uh, the, a few different various criticisms that I just have already said are bad faith. Um, and even still, I've been willing to explain why when I'm treated kindly and asked a question in not the most victim blamey way. Um, Oh, I forgot where that line of thought was going. <laughs> oh, man. Um, just, I've seen so many excuses. I've just seen so many excuses that I think are not okay and I think are actually such a disrespect. Um, I've seen people use the excuse of depression to excuse some behavior. Um, I think that that's such a disrespect to anyone who has ever felt depressed 